Well, my name is Mazdak. My supervisor is uh, Professor El Durabi. I'm working on construction, engineering, and management. I'm a third year PhD student. I come from Iran, and I my background was in in structural engineering. Now I'm in construction management, which is like these two are totally two, two ends of the spectrum. My research is on decision making for urban infrastructure as a, as a socio-technical system. What it really means is um, we have urban infrastructure and we look at infrastructure as, as a system which is being used by people. So we believe that we cannot define infrastructure without the users. If we want to model the system, we have to whole, model the whole thing, the users and the system. This is what they call socio-technical system. And decision-making for such a system is a kind of different from decision-making for pure or merely technical systems. So my research is trying to come up with a new environment for decision-making in such a collaborative system. We're trying to, to involve the end users in process of, of building things and pro process of, let's say, evaluation of, let's say, demands more and more. And that's the thing which has not been happening within, within civil engineering. So what, what, what I use is, is social network and social network is widely available. Lots of, lots of different, different um, types of social network is open, are open and you can, you can easily uh, find data like over the net. There are, there are different issues in, in, in the scenario that I just uh, explained. First of all, we need to know what are the communities over the, over the social network. So the first group of, uh, let's say, algorithms or, or methods that we are, we are trying to develop or, or, or trying to, to, to benchmark from other, other disciplines are community detection uh, algorithms. By this, I mean you go over, over the graph of the net or, or let's say network of people, social network, and you find groups of people who are densely connected to each other, and this forms some communities. And these communities have things to, 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 to give us as, as decision makers. This is the first group of, or let's say the first line in my research. The other line in my research is trying to find people who have who have the highest influence on their 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 let's say neighbors. So let's say I am the I am a city manager. I want to announce and launch a new project. I need the support of the society, right? So I want to go and kind of let's say convince some important nodes on society to to support my idea. Or I need to, I'm in in design phase and I want some people who can give me the best feedbacks that I can include in my design phase. Well, I need to know who are the most influential nodes in, in, in the social network. This is the second group, of, second group of algorithms that we do. Let's say influence maximization in, in networks. The third group of um, algorithms that we try to develop is algorithms for, for diffusion of information and cascading over the network. I want to launch my network. I want to maximize number of people who, who, who get informed about this, net, this project and who involve in, in involve themselves in project. Where should I announce it? Or in which parts of the, the uh, online social media I should announce it? So these three are the main cores of my research and there are lots of other questions in this field that can be, can be th thought of or, or followed in the future. The best thing about UFD is everything is a kind of open and accessible. As a grad student, you don't have any, any problem with showing up to any, any kind of class or any seminar that you want and you can get lots of information. So it, surprisingly, I found lots of information that I'm using in my thesis from the courses that I didn't, didn't officially register for. So th the best thing that I can say is have being open in different, di in different disciplines for to, to kind of collaboration or like that, that's the most important thing that I personally get from UFD for my research.